Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My buddy Brent bought a couple different bowling centers. This is probably a lifelong dream of his, but I'm bowling him today for the keys to this center. That way, hopefully I can get in and practice uh, anytime I want. Good luck. I know the mechanic here. Built in 1959, originally really? 12 lanes. It's old, 12? Yep. This 12, this is 12, this is the original 12. This 12. Yep, and then they added on in, uh, I think it was 98, it was late 90s. Cause I remember Joe Keltner built, beat me right there on nine and 10 in a youth tournament when they reopened. The interior is due for renovation. There will be paint, new lanes, new scoring, maybe uh, an upgrade over in the like arcade. Brent Bowers with a bucket of paint? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. You might need to subscribe to howtobowl.com after this. I need to learn. Just the start I needed. All right, good warm up. Nice little handicap buffer for me. Pre-season form, no spare ball, no towel, no tape. When you win a title on the back half of the season, I want to bring it right back to this session right here, this, this, this practice session this with cool. your old college associate coach. Oh boy. Mm. I thought that was gonna bring us right back in for a second. That angle carried on TV this week. Oh boy. I am sharp. I've, I've bowled a cumulative five games here in the last 10 years. Really? Yeah. yeah I, I bowled here in high school. My brother worked here for a couple years in the early to mid 2000s. I might have bowled more games here than you then because I bowled the city tournament here when I was in college. I guess we bowled the city tournament yeah. together here when you gave me COVID. Oh, that's right. And I still made out with you anyways. Yeah, he's, he is pretty sharp. You've been bowling recently. I have bowled more than a couple games. You look like you're ready to take up your old profession again. Head back into the gymnasium. After last week, it felt like it. You know, have you ever thought about substitute teaching on, while on the road? Like if the week doesn't go so well, maybe you stop by a local elementary yeah, school, dress just like that, say, hey, anybody need a, a sub today? If that's how it worked, that would be hilarious, but you need different certifications, sort of different states, I'm sure. I'm sure you can get it online in 30 minutes. Oh, now that one's wide. Oh, this is my house. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know how I did it. Most people have no clue. They never thought this was possible. When you wish upon a star. I've partnered with, with people smarter than me. That's how we got it done. Well, Packy did. <laughs> <laughs> <It's you. laughs> Yo. All right. Keep that jingle jangle in my pocket. It is pretty cool, you know, this one has a garage door in the back, a little garage out back. Oh, does it? And having a garage door open in your truck and pulling up, pulling up to your bowling alley and kicking open that garage door, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Easy. I feel like that spare was made in Springfield like 42 times. When you split so much, you, get, it so was. Many, you get so much practice at it. I, I, Jake's, Jake's bounced out, but that was the only one I saw everybody else slid it. So this is an original Anvil lane. I would assume they replaced just the front uh, heads at some point in time, but this is what North Rock had for many, many years. Uh, the new lanes that are going in shouldn't have these chunks taken out of the front like, like you see here. But that, that yellowish synthetic in the back, I can guarantee that's an original Brunswick Anvil lane. Hooks a lot, heads hook a lot, 25 year old surface. I mean, it's, uh, and it's had a fair amount of lines bowled on them. Oh no. Okay, all right. Man, it starts and then it... It's just so much, there's, I think it's just the fact it looks like there's oil down lane because there's just so much hook that your ball is dead by the time it gets down. Right. I think my Dutch 200's... A winner? Safe at the moment. I think you could convince the players committee to start allowing athletic shorts, athletic pants. You know, real athletes wear athletic clothing as I'm dressed in a button down and slacks. Close. Okay. Bowling, it just looks better if everyone's wearing pants, I think. Oh yeah, especially with our demographic. There you go. Give myself enough shots. We'll be ready. A nice ball. We'll be ready. This is just a one gamer, right? I don't want you changing yeah, the rules on me. Two game total. I'm not playing right lane. Yeah, I'm, I'm down thirsty. I gotta give myself a little bit of that. Uh oh. How you bowling? 
sits there. Sheesh. Is that the eight ninety nine ball? That is the brand and, and type of ball, but uh, that one's still safely secured in the showcase at North Rock. What, what, what? I'd like it to be a match. Text, text Simo, two words, Axiom Pearl. And so I did that, and uh, how kind of him. He said he had an extra one, he's gonna send me a blank one. 15 pounds though, so. He doesn't have any. No, he doesn't have any 16, but he, he said he had one and he didn't have use for it, so he was gonna he was gonna send it to me so I could add it to my collection. I currently throw 16. Why? Because I believe that if there's 35 pounds worth of pins, how can you argue that an extra pound isn't gonna hurt you? Especially when I play right. I feel like when I play right, it's harder for me to hook it when I go left of 16. If I had to do that forever, I probably wouldn't. But because I predominantly play right of third arrow, I like it. I do have some 15s, but I'm not competing enough to really keep track of it all. We yow wow we. I'm feeling it. Yep. Got to figure out what league I'm gonna bowl here next year. These are my Costco Kirkland button downs with my embroidered alteration. Mmm. Spare it up. Spare it up, Pack. We're all rooting for you. I just think it's really kind of you because you do know it's it's been a childhood dream of mine, Tona Bowling Center, and to lose the keys. After only six weeks of ownership, would it, you did say it would before, be a real heartbreak. Before the video started, and didn't even have these, so. I did forget them today. I drove I drove my wife's Camry today. Ah! How fitting. Like, Call me Boog. We love you, Boog. Good man, good man. Happy for him. He caught a lot of flack, but again, you know, you. You don't get any credit for the amount of games that were bold leading up to that TV yeah, show. 77 against EJ to make the show. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, I wish there was a way to showcase that more. It is a made for TV format that's existed since the beginning of time. At least this one's like, you can get eliminated at any point. It's just the best set. I love this one. This is an old school PVA. Nice job. Nice job. Boog made hundreds of gray shots for the opportunity to catch a couple of good birds. <sighs> Okay, got to take advantage of those brooks. I did think it was kind of funny to play Boogland. It's a Boogland now. A little bit of loss. Maybe change everything. We should bowl here more often. We bowl another game I would love. You said you had a lunch date. I do a time. Oh, magically. Magically, he rearranges his schedule after he loses by 100. Be a nice day to go golf, and what are we doing with ourselves? I don't have any uh, swass going on yet, do I? Not yet. Not yet. All right. Yeah, we'll get there, game two. It's coming. Ah! That is the hit. Where's the trip three? I am out of practice. Embarrassed. Embarrassed that I'm going to beat you throwing it this poorly. Oh! The perfectly executed bag. Pretty good. You got to really jam on it. I'm a specimen. Very nice, very nice. The high hard one. If this bowling center is owned by Brad Bauer, I just know. Know how he's going to set the lanes. You know, the bank owns it. I mean, I, I'm just working it. I mean, the, the bank really is the one that owns it. Is there, is there a bonus for beating you by a hundy? Jimmy Jam, time to keep going, time to keep going. A little tight after I had to retuck my pants. Sure. At least I kept it close through like one. Psych! Split the first frame tip. Oh! I think I can intentionally line up Brooklyn and be safe next game. Let's go ahead and modify the rules in your favor like, like it's been for him since day one. Back when I decided to throw it two handed, it was my, my favorite. Mm. And lefty, don't forget that. Yeah. Ching! You are uh, channeling Bill O'Neill. Well done. Well done. Did they bounce here? That's all over here? I do think they bounce here, yes. I, like I think seven tens. A little lively in the back there. Yep, 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 yep. Found new life in game two. Hit the pocket, got one, made a spare. Okay. 
Oh, it's been amazing. Go ahead and move into my A game here. It's the problem. Where it wants to hook, it's going to be hard to do it from that angle. That hook went and touched the land. Your ball touched the land and started going. Maybe we should move right, way right and see what we got over there. Oh boy. You're doing your favorite thing. I'm doing my favorite thing. Usually we're doing the opposite, I feel like. I might go right and just see, what some, see if there's something over there. A little lofty loft. So for the left side, do you, you still see it hook early? Yeah. Interesting. Well, I, I, like you can't, I feel like you can't ever see it hook early. You feel it. You can feel it when you like look at your ball down here in the lane and you're like, oh, I rotated that one. And it's just not hooking. Yeah. We're interested. Usually you ball on a house shot, you rotate it, and you're like, wow, it things like so popping down. For the right. viewers at home, that means the ball, even though the ball may not physically look like it's hooking, the ball's migrating in that first part. Yeah. Your ball hooks in the front part of the lane. Really? Yeah, like you're. So that's what I'm saying. It's not my thought, fault. You thought it was left? Yeah. It was going left when you released it. Yeah, okay, let's go give something else another try. I subscribe. Oh. Ow! What is the subscription to howtobowl.com these days? We got multiple plans. We got an annual subscription. We got a monthly subscription. We got a lifetime subscription. Hmm. Yeah. Have I earned a lifetime subscription yet? With all my, I'm still waiting on my royalties. I, I intend to sign up to see what it's all about. We got ourselves a match now. First double of the day. All right. Feeling pretty good about myself. Appreciate it. Definitely get brown. Fall through. Keep your eyes on your target. Post your shot. Post your shot. Eyes on your target. Follow through. Last one was a little flat, huh? A little flat. Gosh, that was the exact same shot. See it just slide a little bit? <laughs> See that pin just ding. around mm, needed it I'm saying I need my spare ball I like, should have brought it I kind of liked it in the middle what, what do you say we just go back here in the middle go back in here maybe over here maybe it's over here Did you get the loft on that one? A little bit of loft. What a great way to start the week. A win over Packy under my belt. An easy victory. I can accomplish anything this week. Loft. Don't want to count my, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No rewrite. And this, and this commercial brought to you by DerbyBowl.net. Very nice, very nice. Quite intimidating. I'm starting to perspire. How's Niagara Falls back here? Uh, not too bad. You can see it? Now zooming in. You can see it. Is um, it there? Starting to get dark. All right. So back in here with a little bit of lofty. That was the right call. Oh man! I All can right. feel it calling in the air tonight. Feeling good. I mean, it just proves that bowling has always been about luck. It's never been a fair game. A little bit about luck and a lot of bit about skill. Because the more skill you have, the more opportunities you are. You agreed, agreed. The, the same person that has the most wins also has the most seconds in bowling, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, then we're back in the match. My sleeve was a little tight on that one. Oh boy. Did you go Brooklyn? No, I went high foot. Are you kidding me? Do I look yeah. like a guy that goes Brooklyn? No, you look like a guy that missed a single pin, you big silly. Yeah. All right, so I'm going back to the right. I'm going to take one extra to the right to get that flat tin out. Come around. Now that was better. Got to leave it out there. Let her turn in. I, I love that right there. That's me. That is you a little bit. I love that. There's not a lot of people that, that do that. So when it's there and it's not there anywhere else, I feel like I'm left-handed. There's only five people to beat. Oh. It was obviously the rack you needed. I said I love that rack. Oh boy, might've found me something there. Wonder if that works on every lane in this house. 
Probably. I can't wait to win in this one more roll. Oh, that's what we're doing now, huh? You're going to beat me by five after losing by 89. Damn. And by PBA rule, a one ball sun death. Yeah. Oh, I can, I can do a one ball now. I used to love when Kurt Von Kruger would get on the mic. He used to go. Ladies and gentlemen. Ja, 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 ja. That was interesting. I hope you zoomed in on that. Kirk Von Kruger said, I think he missed a seven pin. He was on that show when Ozio lost to Albie in 93 at North Rock. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember a conversation with him where he said that that saved his career because he lost. And that was like the deciding factor for him to stop bowling. And that's what started his career with the PBA. Yeah on the tournament director side. So you're saying there's a chance. Hot jambalaya. Ha, 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 oh, ha, ha. Couldn't lose these keys, man. This is the biggest match of my life. But I'll, but I'll give you the garage code. Hey, nice hey. game. Oh my God. So Brent bought two bowling centers, Seneca Bowl being the other one. So I will be looking for a rematch over at Seneca Bowl. Two games. Race to two, PBA. And early I'm over one. And what do I get if I win? A million. I think, I think, I think you should at least give me a small coupon book of like uh, mop the floors. Mow the lawn. I could give you when we go. You know, to, maybe dry mop my gutters. When we go to Seneca, I'll clean all your gutters for you. That's a lot of gutters. So I'll, I'll give you the dry mop of all the gutters at the end of the video. You know, they're gray here, but over there they're blue. And if you don't you keep them clean over there, there, it's pretty obvious. We need to mop them. We need some J Clean and some hot water. And we need to mop them real good. Well, I will mop your gutters if I lose. <laughs> That's a solid job. Dry mop. The dry mop. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. Bye. Ta-ta.